20 years ago, Rolls-Royce established at the University of Nottingham, University Technology Center in Manufacturing. For the last 20 years, we have been working very closely to Rolls-Royce to develop technologies in manufacturing and more recently in robotics. in our engine combustors and from the University of Michigan what we do is developing two uh, miniaturized continual robotic system for delivering repair tools and uh, cameras inside of the engine for repair operations. Flare, it's a continuation of many projects we carried out for Rolls-Royce like uh, walking hexapods and uh, continuum robots or so-called uh, snake-like robots. Continuous robots are snake-like robots. It has very uh, small diameter arm and it can get into the uh, engine through a very small inspection hole. So Flare technology is the first uh, robotic system which can get into the engine uh, doing the repair through an uh, inspection hole. And uh, before this, all the engines need to take off the wing and uh, doing the repair in the combustor. And this is the first time Rolls-Royce have a capability repairing damaged components inside of the combustors. One snake arm uh, contains a camera and an igniter. Another one contains a flame spray, which we can redeposit the thermal barrier coating without dismantling the engine. So you can imagine the impact of our research without needing to take off the engine. We also develop the control system from scratch and the robot can follow the trajectory defined by the operators and automatically go there. Apart from aerospace, it also can be used in nuclear sectors and also the other sectors where it has limited access for the human operators. It is similar to the uh, K-hole surgery for human, but the technology we developed here is different with the K-hole surgery robot because it uh, has a much longer robot length, so it requires different control strategy and a different uh, robot stiffness. Also, it uh, needs to tolerance 3,000 degrees C uh, temperature. We are talking about uh, robots, both of them working together for co collaborative work. This kind of work has never been done up to now in the world.